April's Consumer Price Index report was released today. That report tracks how much you're spending on the things that you buy, and it's a key measure of inflation. So take a look at the graph here on your screen. We are still near historic highs, 8.3% in fact. And with sticker shock in multiple areas, gasoline has seen the biggest jump at a 43.6% increase over last April. And then used cars, food prices, and home prices also saw significant increases over the last year. So to put things into perspective, April's consumer price index was slightly lower than March. Experts say prices will likely remain high over the summer, but this new data suggests the inflation peak could be behind us. We do want to give you a live look at the big board now. Stocks are rebounding today as investors try to look past the latest inflation data. We're going to be, of course, watching the, the markets for you. We'll keep you posted on later editions of Local 4 News. But speaking of gas prices, if your gas tank is on empty, you're going to be paying a lot to fill up, a lot more, in fact, as prices across Metro Detroit are up two cents from Tuesday to around $4.38 for regular. That's also an 18 cent jump from last week. And then across the state, prices stay the same at around $4.35 per gallon there. Later this afternoon, there's going to be a key vote in the Senate. Lawmakers will take up the Women's Health Protection Act. It's aimed at preserving access to na abortion nationwide. This is a live look inside of the chamber there. And as you know, the same issue is facing the Supreme Court and a leaked preliminary opinion shows Roe versus Wade, the landmark abortion case, could be overturned as soon as next month, in fact. But the bill isn't likely to make a dent in the abortion battle. It's expected to fail amid widespread Republican opposition with one prominent Republican saying that it's too broad and raises concerns about it not including a so-called conscience clause, which would allow providers to refuse to perform abortions for religious or moral reasons. Still holding the vote will give Democrats a chance to spotlight the issue and Republican resistance.